Greetings, my friends. I'm among the forefront, the forerunners of those who have identified America as a great whore of Babylon well over a decade ago. I give God all the glory because he gives me all my insight. But I've got a video today to talk to you about, and all the things that are happening right now in America, they were prophesied 2,500 years ago. And what's, and what's really interesting is the prophecies all involve the great whore of Babylon's fate to a T. <coughs> Jeremiah, chapter 50, verse 2. King James Bible. Declare you among the nations, and publish, and set up a standard, publish and conceal not. Say Babylon is taken, Bel, which is the same as Merodach, this is my my interjection, the same as Merodach, is, conf is confounded. Merodach, again, this is my interjection here, who is the chief god and of the of this uh, scripture, and the former America, now no Morica. That's my new name for this country, No Morica. Uh, her chief god is the entertainment industry and sports. And that has been taken away. Okay? <clears throat> Babylon, as far as her god, uh, Merodak goes. And also, Babylon is taken. What's happening in the streets everywhere in No Morica right now, formerly America? It's being taken. The country's taken from the people who run it and it's being abused and mistreated and run into the ground. Okay, this is all again perfect mirror image of what's going on in scripture. And also and now back to scripture is broken in pieces. Her idols are confounded, her images are broken in pieces. Okay. Again, her idols, they're just they're they're confounded. They, they, her idols aren't aren't working anymore. You don't hear the music industry, the movie industry, the sports industry. They're they're gone. And the her images, her statues, and everything else are being broken into pieces in the streets. So this is exactly right out of scripture. Is showing who America is, the future great war of Babylon. Again, you can believe anything you want to believe. That's up to you. I can't help you there. All I can do is lead you to water. I can't make you drink. But America's fate is sealed. America is going to be beat down beyond anything you can possibly imagine in your life. America's going to be destroyed, totally burned down to the ground. In God's time, when he's done with America, the great horse time will come. She will be obliterated from the face of the earth. Nothing happens by happenstance, my friends. There's no such thing as it, 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 you know, it's just by chance. There's, there's no coincidence. There's always a God incidence. So believe what you want to believe again. I'm telling you the facts of what's going on. America is done. Stick a fork in her and turn her over. She's done. She's well past done. And again, the former America, now no Morica. Understand the rapture's upon us. Understand that most people are going to be left behind. Understand there'll be scads of Christians left behind as well because I've got 100 subscriptions in the Bible that prove to you that you have to repent of your sins after you're saved, but you won't go to heaven. It's God's word, not mine. Believe what you want to believe. If you're left behind, you'll believe it then. I guarantee you that, albeit much too late for your eternal soul. If, if you don't somehow make it through the tribulation saved or before you die in the tribulation. Just no sense to go through any of that. It, the door's open right now to find Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior if you've never been saved or to repent if you're backslidden. Get off your high horse and just start repenting like you're supposed to, the way the Bible tells you to do. It's plain and simple. Jesus Christ is our, is our only hope. Again, if you've never been saved, you're backslidden, pray the prayer, do the six steps I have in the box below the video, and no one's guaranteed the next day, hour, minute, or second in your life. If you'd like prayer, contact me. I pray for you every day. I love you all so much, I don't want to see anyone languish and spend forever in hell in the lake of fire. True Christians, look up, my dear friends, our redemption draweth nigh, we fly soon. May God bless you. I'm being censored beyond belief. Help me by sharing. Have your friends share and so on and so on and so on. May God bless you. Love you all so much. Bye.